Welcome back guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this tutorial, I will show you guys how you can create this type of 3D inflated text in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. All right guys, for this, I'm going to use the pencil tool first to create the characters. Okay, so we can use the pencil tool in here. We can double click to open the pencil tool options. And in here, I'm going to set up the smoothness 100% okay the other things you can just leave like this and also the close path ends are within this area you can leave it unselected because we don't want to close these parts in here okay all right now i'm going to select this okay and then let's draw some characters in here let's keep it simple i'm going to keep similar to the example b Okay, so when you have 100% smoothness, you can see these characters are automatically appearing very smooth. All right, let's draw all the characters. Now, we can make some modification using the direct selection tool. Okay, first, let's select these and I'm going to make them a little bit smaller and rotate like this in here. The next thing I will select these and go to objects in here, go to the path and let's simplify them let's stick to the automatic value in here so that we can have less number of anchor points okay so let's use the direct selection tool and remove unnecessary anchor points and make these characters smooth as well i will make this part faster guys because you guys already know what i'm doing in here i'm just modifying the path All right, now I will select all of these and go to stroke in here. And for the caps, let's make them as rounded caps. And for the corners, I'm going to select the rounded joints. All right. Okay, select all of them. And then let's apply a gradient for the stroke. All right. And in here, increase this to maybe 25 for now. And we can play with the colors later on. First, we need to make them as a 3D object. To make it as a 3D object, we go to Effects. In here, go to 3D and Materials and select the Inflate, which will bring you the Inflate option in here. And then I will go to the Rendering in here and click the Rendering on so we can see the actual final artwork in here all right now we can go to the materials we can select the default materials and in the lighting i will go and switch on the shadows now let's increase the shadow softness for this we can increase the shadow softness like this in here which will give you guys this nice smooth shadow and in here we see these boxes so we can go to the shadow bounds and increase the bounds all right now we can go to the object in here in here we can select the inflate both side option which will inflate this object in both sides and it will affect the shadow as well all right now with this if you select the materials you can see there is no option available in here so in order to get the option you need to select individually all of these objects you have to select individually now i can increase this metallic look to one and for the roughness i will decrease the value to somewhere around here i'm looking for this type of look for the material all right okay so before we convert all of these materials uh first i will select all of these and go to the stroke in here and let's increase the stroke width to around 65 and then let's go individually in here and change the material similar to the material we just created sometimes when you apply the 3d materials you may find it difficult to select these objects because of the shadow in those cases you can simply use the control y which will convert these into outlines then you can easily select these object first let's edit this m a bit closer to our example 
Okay, so let's select these and change the materials in here. You can go to appearance and select the materials and then we can increase the metallic look. I will do the same for other parts in here as well. As I said, I will be using Ctrl Y outlines to select this part easily. Okay, so I will make this part a little bit faster guys. You guys already know what I'm doing in here. I'm just making the metallic look to one and decrease the roughness. Okay, so let's increase the stroke thickness a little bit more, maybe like a 75. All right, this look nice. We can save this one as one version. Now I'm going to select these individually and I will increase the thickness and also I will use the stroke weight tool and modify these lines. Okay, I will show you guys how we can modify this to make it nicer. So if your computer is slow in this point, you can just hide this rendering, hide the 3D and materials in appearances. Then you can go to the stroke width tool in here and modify these strokes like this in here. Okay, so I want to get a shape like this for this line and let's place it in here. Okay, so I'm going to do the same for all of these characters. I will show you guys one more in here. Hide this and then we can go to the stroke width tool and make it something like this. Okay, looks good, right? We can modify even further with this in here, like this. And this one, let's make it a little bit more rounded. Maybe we can increase the size. All right, guys. Okay, so uh, what I will do is I'm going to do the same with all other shapes in here as well. You guys already know what I'm doing in here. I'm just hiding these in here in the appearances. And then we are using the stroke width tool to modify these lines. Okay, first let's hide the material for all of these lines. All right, now let's use the stroke width tool to modify all of these paths. You guys, if you are following this, you don't have to follow exactly like what I'm doing in here. You can use your own creativity and make them even more nicer. And then we can play with these colors in the gradient and get the look we wanted. All right, I think this look better with the thickness. Now we can go in here and add this to the swatches. Okay, uh, I can select these and apply this from the swatches. Okay, so I will do the same with all other characters as well. We can apply the same gradient from the saved swatches. And now for this object, I'm going to switch the gradient other way so we can start from this color and end with the purple color you can adjust these in here or you can simply go to the gradient and modify the gradient in here okay so I will do the same for other characters also I just want to make this gradient 
uh, consistency. So these are just design uh, things, guys. You guys already know now how to create these characters. Then you can use your own gradients and make them even more nicer. In here, I'm just giving you guys an example how you can uh, work with these lines and then apply the 3D effect and, and apply the gradient on top to make it like a real 3D text. All right, guys, so once you are done, you can select these objects, okay? For an example, Control Y, I'm going to select this and go to materials in here. You can choose the high quality and render, which will render your lines in high quality, okay? All right, guys, so that's all about it for today. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next tutorial.